The most basic components of our site structure are now in place. Let's start filling in the details with some navigation, content, and more. On most websites, you can click the site logo in the upper left corner to get back to the home page. Right now, we only have one page on our site, but soon we'll have multiple pages that we'll need to link together. When a site visitor goes to another page, this will be the link that takes them home. I'll type it out first and then explain it. So I'm going to wrap our H1 and H2 elements in an anchor element. And we're just going to type a little attribute here. And then we'll go ahead and close it just like that. And then we'll indent these two lines here. Links are created with what are called anchor elements or A tags. The A in these two tags, of course, stands for anchor. The anchor element gets its name because it can be used to anchor a URL to some text on a page. In this case, we're actually using the anchor to go to another page. Inside of the opening anchor tag, you'll notice the href attribute. This is short for hyperlink reference. Inside the quotes, I've stated that I want the destination to be our index.html file, which is the file that we're looking at right now. When we have other files to link, we'll use other destinations. Inside our header, we're going to create the navigation in the form of a list, which we'll style later. The first part is easy. We just have to add the nav element, which is short for navigation. So I'm just going to skip down here and add in our nav element. You can use this element to wrap any kind of website navigation that you put together. It doesn't have any special function inside the browser, and it doesn't add any buttons or other visual bits. It's simply a semantic statement that says, here's our navigation on the page. Inside of the nav element, we're going to create an unordered list of links like this. The UL element is short for unordered list. I say unordered because we could also create an ordered list with an OL tag. Until we add our own styling, this unordered list will look like a bulleted list like you might create in a word processing program. An ordered list would look like a list of numbers instead of bullet points like in our unordered list. Now let's add some list items. I'm going to open up our UL element here, and then I'm going to type a list item element, and I'm going to type the word portfolio. Then I'm going to type another list item and type about, and then one last list item which will say contact. Now I've created three list item elements using these li tags. Then inside I've added some text. Let's save our work and then switch over to our preview and refresh the page. As you can see, our headline elements at the top are now colored blue with an underline. This is the default styling for a hyperlink that's provided by the browser. Our navigation looks like a bulleted list. However, we need to add some links here in order for our site visitors to get around to different pages that we'll create later. Let's go ahead and add those links right now though. So I'll switch back to my workspace. And in between my 
opening list item tag and the word portfolio, I'm going to type a hyperlink. And I'm going to link this to index.html because our portfolio is actually going to be on our home page or our index page. And I need to wrap portfolio in a closing anchor, just like that. Now, with my about page, I'm going to do the same thing, except this time I'm going to choose a different destination. In this case, it will be about.html. And I'm just going to cut my closing anchor tag there and put it around about. Finally, I'm going to type contact.html for this final destination here. And I'm going to then close it. So there we go. We have three new links here. Again, the first page is our index page or our home page. And the other two pages are our about page and our contact page. These pages don't exist yet, but we'll create them once we're done with the HTML for our first page. Let's go ahead and save this, switch over to our preview, and refresh. And as you can see, we now have hyperlinks for each one of our pages. If you click on the links now, they'll probably give you some type of error. When a link doesn't work because the page or content doesn't exist, it's called a broken link. And we certainly don't want to launch our site with any broken links. We'll fix those later.